Fast forward to the mid 2000s, there were obviously significant changes in technology. The primary one of which was that by the mid 2000s, you had billions of people located abroad who were using US based communication services, US based email providers, things like that, that didn't exist in the 1970s. And if the government wanted to collect those communications of foreigners abroad, since of a company here inside the United States, it was required by those definitions of electronic surveillance to go get an individualized probable cause based order. So we were basically extending Fourth Amendment procedures and Fourth Amendment protections to foreigners overseas who weren't entitled to them. And it was creating all sorts of um, intelligence collection failures as well. Probable cause is a very high standard to meet. It's very difficult to meet. It's very difficult to draft a warrant application, submit it to the judge. And it's just not feasible in a lot of cases when you're dealing with people in the remote corners of the, the world and the globe who we know very little about. And so that's what Congress was trying to get at in 2008 when it passed Section 702, restoring a little bit of the balance of original FISA and creating a regime where the intelligence community could have access inside the United States with the assistance of companies to the communications of national security uh, targets abroad without having to get an individualized court order. And so it created a different regime under Section 702 where the Attorney General and the Director of National Intelligence can execute certifications uh, describing foreign intelligence information that can be collected. And those sort of certifications are supported by implementing procedures that ensure that the surveillance is directed only at foreigners located abroad. So if we have an American who is of a national security interest and we actually want to conduct surveillance of that American, we have to go to a judge and get a, a probable cause based court order. But when we have foreign targets located abroad, that's what Section 702 is for.